Look at that, guys. Feels good. It's not binding or anything or making a weird noise. All right, guys, welcome back. Today, we're gonna do timing chain on this uh, on the A4. This is the balance shaft chain right, right here. This is we're gonna replace with three guides and the tensioner right there. All right, guys, welcome back. Here we go. We're gonna start with uh, M10, 12 points. All this right here, all this, uh, bolts right there is all the same m10 and this one right here the tensioner so i cracked them loose already because uh i can't wait to get them out so what i i believe this is uh you could use socket for like i think measure it here one inch one inch socket right there or in millimeter will be 27 so this is what I use take out this ten tensioner off on the side this is what I use so I just kind of like if I go sideways there's there's no uh, room right here because of this uh, block is on the way so I just go sideways like that and I put this uh, 90 millimeters wrench open-end one and then just give me a lever to uh, you know turn this big wrench over so put it in like that lock it down and then you use this wrench to like turn it so this will keep this wrench to turn and it works good it just pops made a big pop like that so now this is loose crack all these bolts open and then we're gonna start taking them out but first i'll show you guys here i'll, I'll show you the the marks all right so i got this diagram um on me here <laughs> so it's hard to see in the camera but there's a mark right there that's about one o'clock and this is two o'clock and then my mark on the crank sprocket is about seven all right that's that's the mark we want and that's what's uh showing here on the catalog here so let's say um the piston is off already so let's say we're gonna put it to pdc all right so there you go that's on pdc piston is on top my mark is on seven my mark on this side is one but my mark here is about seven o'clock so that's not right so we're gonna have to do a couple turns See if my we're, we're on the right mark. So here we go. Uh, TVC again. Yeah. So this is seven. This is one. And this is what's that? Four. That's not good. So we we'll do another turn. Here we go. Seven o'clock. One. And there you go. There's two right there. So that's what we want. That's what we want. So three or four turns to make sure all that marking is on the right spot. One, two, and seven o'clock. All right. So this is good. Um, it's better to lock it, but um, I got nowhere to lock this crank because everything is loose. The flywheel is loose on that side it's gone so basically we're just gonna have to uh don't spin it i guess you know here's the marking on the chain right there the dark chain it match so that's what we want okay so now it's time to uh loosen the tension and uh loosen all this uh bolts down so that we could uh take out all the guides and chain here we go There we go guys, 
it's gone make sure I don't spin the crank leave it how it is let's uh, put a brand new chain all right guys here's the new chain um, the darker one is the old one the lighter color one is a brand new one so just just a little quick de demonstration here uh, just bind them up and then tilt them on the side just like that so you can tell uh, feels like one of those games like a snake snake games when you're a kid it gets it just moves like that <laughs> that's crazy <laughs> so you can tell this one here is sags down because this is the old one that's how you tell that it's stretch and you can see on this one right here it's a little up higher than this uh, darker one this one is brand new you can tell that it's, it's doesn't sag and this one sags so that's why how that's how you tell that it's a uh, stretch and in the length of the chain it's hard to tell but yeah put a new one in all right guys so before we install these new parts in i'll just show you what came in the kit and this is just the balance up chain kit so we got the three guides here the brand new tensioner the chain and of course we need to change the sprocket the main sprocket for the crank so there she is boys okay uh, that's the mark right there and there's a second mark right there so they only go one way there's a little it's a round here and there's a flat notch right there that that flat end notch match to the crank can only go one way okay all right let's go to the crank take out the crank bolt here's that spacer that came with the kit uh, you don't need, you need a spacer so you won't damage this groove right there and then we're gonna pry this thing out better to put on a little tiny mark right here there you go it's a little tiny mark just want to make sure that you go look at that <laughs> so this is that flat spot right there look it's, it's magnetic this is the flat spot that's a flat spot we're gonna garbage this put a new one in double check on the new to the old one make sure that they are the same same teeth same counts just gonna eyeball them up looks good looks good to me all right so you find that flat spot right there and then uh, reference on that mark you made it goes like that All right, guys there we go we got the line up here and then flush the spark it through the block just gonna wiggle it just make sure it's seated right and then we'll put the crank bolt back in with the spacer Make sure to look down here, double check uh, the block and the sprocket. Make sure it's seated right. It looks good to me. It's not crooked or anything, so that's good. So next is we'll do the chain. Uh, there's three marks right there. There's darker marks is for your for the marks with the sprocket. All right, let's take out this old uh, tensioner and then just clean around the bore. Make sure it's nice and clean. This oil goes in there. So just screw in there. 
The dark one goes in first. Tighten down just a little snug because I know that there's torque spec on this. I'm not sure the torque spec, but we'll look it up. Here. Just a little snug. So I just looked it up. Conversion from 20 Newton is a 8.8 inch pounds okay inch pounds so it's not that tight uh, i don't have my torque wrench here right now i'm just gonna keep it a little snug and then i will bring the torque wrench at my other garage bring it with me i'll make a note and then we'll uh torque that those those bolts right there All right, guys, that's it. Give a little tension, not too tight. All right, let's let's go spin this thing. Sounds good. Yeah, this head needs to bottom to the block. It's gonna be good for now because I'm gonna put tread sealant on that tread. But look at that guys, feels good, it's not binding or anything or making a weird noise. 7 o'clock, 1 and 2 o'clock, there you go, that's perfect, that's TDC on the piston and uh, my marks line up. The chain marks doesn't line up because I don't know how many turns you need to go to make that thing lined up to the marks. So that's it. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Uh, make sure to subscribe to my channel and like, like again, like always, uh, like the video, give me a thumbs up, comments below, see what you guys think, give me a question or anything that you wanna ask me about. Uh, I can answer as much as I can, and uh, don't forget to share. I'll see you later. Thanks for watching.